there will be times when you'll need to create a team. In this video, I'm going to show how you can create a private team from scratch. Now, of course, you'll have to have the permission to do it in the first place. If you don't, you won't see the create a team here. Or if you click on it, it will just show you that you cannot create it. I want to go ahead and click on join or create a team. Now here it says I can create a team, so I can click on create team. I'm going to choose scratch, but there are other options that I can start with as well. After I click on from scratch, it gives me the option of private or public. I'm making a private team which people will need permission to join, so I'll choose private. Now I'm going to give a name. This is supposed to be the operations team. So I'll type in operations, create. It creates the team at this point. And also please understand that it's making a lot of objects in the back end. So it's making a SharePoint site in the back end, document library in that SharePoint site, and a lot more. So please only create a team if it's needed because it does take up a lot of resources. I'm going to go ahead and add people to this team now. I'll add Alex. Add. Now I'm going to also add someone here outside my organization. You should only add people from outside your organization if you have permission to do so. I'll type an email address in completely. And then I'll click on Add. Now I'm ready to click on Close. And my team appears right here. At this point in time, I can add more people create channels, currently it only has the general channel, and start the conversation. So if I want to add more people, I click on add more people, start typing in their name, and do the same thing as before, click on add. If I want to make a new channel, which is definitely recommended because it only starts out with a general channel, I would click on create more channels, start typing the name of the channel, and then put in the description, and also the privacy for that channel, standard or private. And then I would go ahead and click on add if I want to do that. So this is how you would create a private team from scratch.